I'm going to talk really quickly about an alternate way to start your Minecraft server on your Mac. In a previous video, I showed you how I started my Minecraft server on my Mac by using the screen command in the terminal. So if I close the terminal window, the server would keep running. I always started this way on my own home computer because this is how I started on my cloud server, so the server will continue to run even after I log out of the terminal. If you've read the instructions online, they tell you to use a little start command file to launch your Minecraft server on your Mac instead of using the terminal. Now I'm just going to show you how easy that is, and I should be up and running in about 30 seconds. So this is the Minecraft server jar I just downloaded from minecraft.net slash download. I'm just going to make a new folder for it. And I'm going to drag this jar into the folder. Those other jars here were just previous versions. I'm going to rename it so it's the proper name as the instructions recommend. Now I'm going to use my magical start command file to run the server. So here's the text you need to put in your start command file. You don't need to edit any of it except for these attributes here. 1500 megabytes is how much RAM I want to start my server with. You could use other values too and you could also specify in gigabytes like this for 1 or 2 gigabytes. But I like starting my server with about 1500 megabytes. So I'm going to save this file, making sure that it's in plain text format. I'm going to call it start.command. I'm going to put it in the Minecraft server where I have my server jar. Now I just have to make sure that this script has the proper permissions to be executed. To do that, I'll have to use the terminal. So I'll flip over to the terminal and type chmod a plus x. And then take the file the start command file and drag it into the terminal and this will automatically insert the path to that file then hit enter now it should have permission to run now just double click the start command file and your minecraft server should boot up so there we go it's all booting up this is the first time i've run the server so i'm receiving these warnings if i want my friends to play i'll have to port forward my router and allow an exception in my firewall I'm not going to show you how to do that now because I demonstrated that in my other video. So if you want to learn how to do that, go watch that video. Just make sure that you're always running your firewall if you have open ports on your router. It's very important for your security. So thanks for watching.